Alrighty, here we are again. This time we've got the choke installed. 5 Henry 75 milliamp choke installed. Um, the high octane guitar amplifier. Um, you can hear all the controls are set to 10 um, and the amp is plugged into a 412 um, Behringer cabinet. And you can hear the sound there. It's just a small amount of hum. That's a noticeable improvement. So there's some neat things to look at here. Output of the first first gain stage. That's at maximum sensitivity. And e what happened? There we go. Maximum sensitivity. Uh, one millivolt per division. So we have a noise coming out of the first stage. Of less than half a millivolt. Yeah, right. Now, because I went back to the internal heater winding, we can see a bit of a little bump there. I still have the stubbers, snubbers installed. So, uh, you got that little bump has come back. Overall, that is, that is very nice. Okay, moving on a second gain stage here. Right, there we go. Just the slightest 120 hertz ripple. But it's kind of, the ripple is kind of contained within the noise. And the bumps are barely still visible. Alright, the master volume. Wow, I didn't even have to uh, bump up the uh, redial the thing. Again, you can see a persistent, persistent notch where the off transients are are happening. That kind of a little arc. But overall, I say that's pretty good. And I did a spectrum analysis on this. And bring down our camera here. This shows some market improvement too. The upper harmonics are back because I've gone back to the internal heater winding. Don't know why that happens. That's kind of interesting. But the 60 cycle spike is down probably five to six decibels. The 120 hertz spike is down 12 decibels. So theoretically the hum now is, or the 120 cycle hum is now at one eighth of what it was before we started modifying the ampere. Um, that was one eighth of what it was with only the 100 ohm virtual center tap resistors, and the virtual center tap was at ground potential. Okay.
Now I have one more thing I'm going to try. I have a variable voltage uh, regulated DC power supply. I'm going to hook up to the heaters and see what happens. Maybe, hopefully we'll be able to make that 60 cycle spike disappear completely. We shall see. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.